happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a gel polish review for you guys i'm super excited about this video um so nail addict aka nail reserve la reached out to me and wanted me to review some of their gel polishes and i've heard a lot of great things about the nail addict brand so yeah y'all i'm gonna hop right on into this and show you all the goodies that i picked out and that they were so kind enough to send me so here is my pr kit um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up with you all here on camera and see what we got. I'm so excited about this. Like I've heard, like I said, so many good things about Nail Addict. So yeah, let's see what we got here. Oops, it's upside down. Okay, here we go. All right. So we have a couple of different colors here. Okay, I'm gonna just take everything out the box, okay? And then we'll go over the colors together. Okay, so these are all the colors that we have here from Nail Addict. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging. Um, it just leaves like this little white dust all over the all over the um, gel polishes. But here are the six colors that they sent me. Um, and I'm going to go through and swatch these with you all. So the first color here is plum. So this is like a really nice purple color that has like a slight glitter to it. So let me show you all what that looks like. Wow. It's a nice, beautiful, deep, plummy color. As you all can see, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. So that's the first one. The next one here we got is white addict so um i don't actually have a really good white in my collection so i wanted to try out the nail addicts white to see how good it was so this is what that is looking like looks like a nice creamy white okay so we have that they also included just a flirt so i picked this out i had to make sure i picked out a yellow y'all know yellow my favorite color so this is just a flirt. Wow, this is a nice vibrant pretty yellow. That is beautiful. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so that's just a flirt. And then we also have C Swing and Sung. I saw a lot of reviews on this and I really liked how this looked. It's kind of like a sheer nude color. It was just absolutely gorgeous. So that's what this looks like here. Really beautiful. Really beautiful, okay. Can't wait, to swatch, can't wait to swatch these colors. Um, and then we also got Bora Bora, which is like this beautiful kind of, maybe like a deep teal green, I would say. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Y'all see this? Look at that, that is beautiful. So it looks like these gel polishes are on the thicker side, which I don't mind. I actually prefer thicker gel polishes. Um, and then the last one we have here is Original Sin. Okay. And this is just like another nude. It should be more of like a mauve color. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay. These are the six polishes that they sent me here. So the cool thing about Nail Addict is that they are vegan. They're nine free and they're also cruelty free. So you'll see that here on the packaging. Again, vegan, nine free, and cru cruelty free. These are all the colors here. I am gonna go ahead and get them swatched for you all. So the first color I'll be swatching here is um, the White Addict. Again, I feel like these gel polishes are more of a, con of a thicker consistency, which is good to me. Wow, yeah, it looks good. All right, y'all see that one coat coverage? Wow, that's the white here. Wow, okay, I'm impressed. That is one coat coverage, y'all, and it's even coverage too. That looks really good, I like that. Next color I got here is just a flirt. So let's see how this swatches. It's interesting, the smell on these, it smells kind of good. Oh, it's interesting. It smells kind of fruity. I've never actually had a gel polish like smell good, like smell pleasant before, but here is just a flirt. That's a really nice, beautiful yellow color. Next, I'm gonna go in with Bora Bora. This is that beautiful kind of deep teal blue color. Again, these are on the very, very thick side though. So 
that's just an FYI. But as long as you don't overload your brush with too much product, you shouldn't have a hard time working with it. I mean, the coverage on this stuff is amazing. And it smells really good. <laughs> it smells really pleasant. Okay. I'll just take a little bit more off the swatch stick here so it doesn't wrinkle. Yeah, it actually smells really good. That's interesting that the that the gel polish smells good. Next one here is Sea Swing and Sun. Sea Swing and Sun. And this is that beautiful nude that I was really excited about. So this is how this nude color looks. Oops. Oh wow, look how beautiful that is, you guys. I'm loving it. Wow. It's like a nice sheer nude. Man, this would be perfect for like ombre or like a good French tip. Like really like this color. Okay, everything is one coat coverage too. I'm liking that. Next I have here Original Sin. Really beautiful color. It smells fruity. I don't even know how to describe the smell, but it smells really good. This is a very pleasant polish to play around with. The last color we have here is Plum. Wow, that's really pretty. I like it. That's very, very pretty. It's kind of like a jelly glitter. It's very gorgeous. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure all of these for 60 seconds. This is what one coat of coverage is looking like. I'm not gonna lie, you really don't need a second coat for um, for the opacity because it's it's there honestly with all the colors. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty darn impressed with this. A yellow isn't easy to get right either, and it looks like they did that that right as well. Um, but I am going to go ahead and just go in with a second coat um, just because I'm used to applying two coats, you know. But yeah, y'all, this stuff, it's, it's, it seems like it's really good. I'm liking it so far. Um, like I said, the gel polish is of a thicker consistency and it smells really good, which is like a random thing to talk about in regards to gel polish. But I'm loving this so far. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the rest of these. I'm going to do a second coat. And then I'm going to test these bad boys out. So all the colors have been swatched and top coated. Um, so I'm gonna go through and just give you all a close up of all the colors. Again, I just wanted to go over uh, the packaging really quick. So it does say that this is a 15 ml bottle, meaning that this is a full size bottle, you guys. And it says that it only needs to be cured for 30 seconds in the LED lamp, and then two minutes in a UV light. So 30 second cure on this, which is really good. Um, so yeah, again, I have the white addict here. Okay, and this is what this color looks like swatched. Absolutely beautiful. Honestly, all of these colors swatch really well with one coat. So very impressed with the quality of these. And then here we have just a flirt. That's what this color looks like. It's a really nice vibrant um, yellow, kind of leaning on the mustard side a little bit. Also have Bora Bora, which is this beautiful kind of teal green. Really, really beautiful. Love this a lot. We also have the Sea Swing and Sun. This is probably one of my favorites. It's just like the perfect nude. Like, I just, I know I'm gonna love how this nude looks on my skin tone. It's just really, really beautiful. It's more of a sheer kind of nude color. So this would be great for, like I said, ombre nails. We also have Original Sin. This is a really nice mauve color here. Really beautiful. I love, love the colors so far. Um, and then the last one here is Plum, which, I thought it was gonna be a sheer kind of shimmer glitter, but it's actually more opaque than I thought. So I think it's still on the jelly side though if you put it on the nail. But yeah, these colors are absolutely beautiful, you guys. It's really one coat coverage when it comes to these polishes, to be honest, um, from how I swatched it. But I am gonna go ahead and put it to the test. So I'm gonna take this set, this set off and then um, I'm gonna do a set using these polishes. And also, if you all want to know, I do have a full review on this look on my channel. These are some spring nails that I did. And yeah, um, this set right here was done using the 
uh, Evie Patty Gel over here. And then this set was done using a Gelin Dip Powder Kit. So if you all want to see how I got these looks, um, I'll definitely leave a link down in the description box. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into my review of these. So I'm going to take these nails off and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back and I'm ready to do my set using my Nail Addict Gel Polishes. This is also the Bora Bora color from Nail Addict. Um, I had an event that I needed to go to really quick, so um, I just applied this on, but I really like how this color looks. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, that is what the Bora Bora color looks like, but I am going to go in and test a few more colors from Nail Addict. I am going to be using three, these three colors here. So this is White Addict, Just the Flirt, and Sea Swing and Sun. Super excited to um, give all these a go. And also another thing that I didn't point out about the bottles here is I love that they have kind of like a swatch here at the top. So you have an idea of what the gel polishes look like while they're still in the bottle. I'm gonna hop right on into this. I just applied some full cover tips. I do have peel off base coat underneath this, but I just applied some full cover coffin tips to all of my nails. And I filed, shaped, and buffed off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the application. So I'm gonna do every other nail is gonna be red. Uh, I'm sorry, every other nail is going to be the yellow, just the flirt color, and the C Swing and Sun. I'm going to start with my index finger here and go ahead and work my way over to my pinky. So, one of the things I really like about this polish is that it's very, it's, at first I thought that it was like a thick consistency, but I can't even say that it's thick. It's more of a creamy consistency. So, I feel like it's kind of like a cream polish. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying working with this, this polish. Like it's really, really nice. And it also smells really good. I can't quite put my finger on what it smells like. It kind of smells like, well actually, it kind of smells like that. You all know that Hubba Bubba gum that you can get that's in like the yellow, blue, and red packaging. If I can remember to do it, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. That's what this smells like. It smells like Hubba Bubba gum. And um, it's very pleasant. But the one thing about that Hubba Bubba Gum though is that it only lasts like uh, five minutes. But yeah, look how that applied. And that's just one coat. That's the yellow, just the flirt. So I'm gonna go in and um, do the Sea Swing and Sun. And another thing I like about these polishes too is that like where you put it is where it stays. So you see it's not even running. It's not running into my cuticle area or anything like that. I'm really, really liking these polishes. So next I'm gonna go in with my Sea Swing and Swung. Sea swung and sea swing and sun. I really like this color. Such a beautiful nude color. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to all the all the nails, and then I'll be right back. So this is what the first coat of the polish looks like. I mean, it applied so beautifully. This is just one coat, you guys. Like I am loving, I'm loving this polish. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second coat here. That is nice polish. Wow. You ever say it? I like it better than Beatles? I don't know. This is a really nice polish to work with though. Wow. I see the difference in quality though. There is no comparison. So this is what two coats of the polish looks like. You guys, I'm really loving these polishes so far. Like, wow. I'm loving how smooth they are to apply. I'm loving the opacity of them. Like that yellow, it isn't streaky at all. Like it wasn't difficult to work with. And that's something I feel like is hard. I do have an, another yellow in my collection by Beatles. And I mean, it takes a few coats for me to get it right. And with this, I mean, in two coats is good to go. And then I also like this Sea Swing and Sun because you can build up how opaque you want it to be. You can choose to have it be more on the sheer side if that's the look you're going for or you can also just build up the opacity. So I'm gonna do one more coat of the Sea Swing and Sun just cause I do want it to be more of an opaque look this time around, but I'm gonna be excited to play with this again um, and use it more on the sheer side. So this, I mean, y'all, I'm very happy with these colors so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Just beautiful. Okay, so this is what two coats of the yellow and three coats of the the nude looks like the sea swing and sun. I am gonna go ahead and go in with a top coat. Um, I do think that Nail Addict forgot to send me their top coat 
in my PR package. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with um, this eye gel beauty top coat. Um, and then I'm gonna move on to doing some nail art. So this is what it's looking like after I have applied the top coat. Next, I'm gonna go in and do some nail art. So I was on Instagram and I saw Kiera Sky post this video of a really easy way to do like a flower. And so I wanna try to do some white flowers on all the nails and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of bling, you guys. Um, so I actually received this bling from a fellow nail sister. Um, actually, she sent me this eye gel beauty top coat too. So I wanna give a quick shout out to Carrie over at Eye Nails. Um, thank you, darling. I am putting these items to great use. And so um, this right here is the bling that I'm gonna be adhering to the nails. So time for the nail art and a little bit of bling. I did go ahead and do my thumb off camera. You guys, I'm liking how cute this is, okay? Just don't mind that my thumbnail is crooked, but it's so cute. So I'm gonna recreate that here on all of these nails. So once again, I'm gonna be using the white polish from Nail Addict for my little flowers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with some of this white polish here. I'm just gonna put a little bit here on my palette. Like I said, you guys, this, this polish is really thick, so it really feels like a cream consistency, which I'm really enjoying, by the way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my dotting tool, okay? I'm just gonna saturate it, and I'm gonna, like I said, add the flowers to all of the nails. So I wanna make sure we're in focus here. Okay, and I'm just gonna kinda do it slightly off center from the cuticle at the base and then one at the top of the nail. So I'm gonna go through with the five dots, just kinda in a circle, okay? Like that. And then I'm gonna come through with my line art brush here. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of the white on there. And then all you need to do is connect it in the middle. This is really easy nail art. So I was happy that I saw this on the Kiara Sky Instagram page because yeah, y'all, like now I can make cute little flowers on my nails and not have to like, you know, be so stressed out about it. So yeah, I'm gonna take this and just drag it down. This is actually harder to do on camera, easier to do off camera. So yeah, one straight line there. We'll do a straight line coming over here. And then the same for the bottom. And then one thing I like to do if I feel like my lines and stuff have gotten messed up is just, I'll just go in with my dotting tool again and just kind of sharpen up my dots to kind of help make it look more, you know, uniform or whatnot. So, yeah. So yeah, I feel like that looks good. This looks good to me, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. So this is what it looks like after it's been cured. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second flower here. Again, I'm just gonna take some of that white polish and get it on my dotting tool and then just create some flowers. So you all see how that line looks like it's messed up at the top there. I'm just gonna go in with my dotting tool and make my dot a little bit bigger just to kind of fix that. That looks better to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So that's what that's looking like. The last thing I'm gonna do on this nail is just put a few more dots in the corner here, kind of like I did the thumbnail. Okay, so this is the design I'm gonna go for for all the nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through me doing the rest of the nails, and I'll be right back.
So I went ahead and did the flowers on all of the nails. She is coming together quite nicely. I'm liking how everything is looking thus far. So now I'm gonna go ahead and top coat and add the bling in the center of all the flowers like I did this one. So yeah, I'm gonna let you all just watch me do that really quick. And I'm gonna just go ahead and use the top coat as my rhinestone adhesive since um, it's just gonna be one rhinestone in the center of the nails. So guys, I'm liking how this is looking. Okay, so I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this set turned out. Like, I am loving this. Isn't she just so cute? You all see? It's the simple bling. It's the cute little flowers for me, okay? Yes, I am loving this. This is perfect for the spring, summertime. I just, that's the vibe I'm feeling right now. So I'm loving how this set turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil to all my nails and I'll be back with my final thoughts, okay? All right, she is all oiled up and ready to go. I am absolutely loving these polishes from Nail Addict and I am loving how my set turned out. Do y'all see? how cute she is like yes bring vibes in the building okay okay so my final thoughts on the nail addict polishes honestly i love them they were super easy to work with they were a nice creamy formula which i really enjoyed i feel like when i was applying it wherever i put it it actually stayed there it wasn't a lot of running um and then i love the fact that you can cure it for only 30 seconds like this stuff is quick and easy to work with it's really high quality polish to be honest with you so I'm used to only using my Beatles polishes and you know you could definitely tell the difference between the two so I don't know y'all Beatles might have got knocked down to number two because I'm really 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 liking these nail addict polishes like they are really good again you get a full-size bottle swatches at the top I'm just I'm really liking the overall look feel and performance of these polishes like i'm really i'm impressed here i really am so um again on this hand here i have the bora bora color and then on this hand over here i used all three of these colors and y'all i'm loving it i'm i'm really loving it and then another great thing about these polishes again is that they're vegan they're nine free and they're cruelty free so i'm really liking them um i'm i'm going to be excited to get more of those polishes in my collection because honestly they're really high quality like they're really good like I'm my socks are blown away right now to be honest with you so yeah if you all are interested in getting your hands on some of these polishes I do have a discount code for you guys um, it's rose 318 and um, you'll actually get 50% off of your purchase if you use rose 318 so yeah if you all want to check them out um, and give them a try I highly recommend it though like I really I really enjoy working with these polishes like they were really easy like I said, super creamy. So yeah, I'm excited to get some more of these in my collection. So yeah, if you all wanna save some coins when you place your purchase, use code ROSE318. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. You guys got two in one here. I did a quick mani on my hand over here, just um, a quick peel off situation because I had an event to go to, but this is the set that I wanted to do. And I am absolutely loving how it turned out. Like, yes, you guys, I love it. It's simple with a little bit of personality to it. And y'all know I have to put my bling in somewhere some way some shape some form so i got it on in here i hope you all enjoyed this video thanks again to nail addict for sending me these products to review i'll be excited to work with you all again in the future i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and so yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!